What happens if after you walk down the aisle, you find yourself on opposite sides of it from your partner on some serious political issues? Nowadays, there's uh, such a divide between people when it comes to politics and opposing values, really, in some ways. Those opposing values on full display for Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and Cheryl Hines following his controversial remarks at an anti-vax mandate rally. Even in Hitler, Germany, you could... You could cross the Alps into Switzerland. You can hide in an attic like Anne Frank did. On Tuesday, RFK Jr.'s wife, actress Cheryl Hines, tweeting, My husband's reference to Anne Frank at a mandate rally in D.C. was reprehensible and insensitive. His opinions are not a reflection of my own. I think what couples need to decide, first of all, is, is this a deal breaker? To some people, it may not be. If the difference in politics and values is not a deal breaker. You're here, I'm here. What can we agree on, right? And so coming up with an agreement, meaning how do we protect our relationship? Shailene Woodley and Aaron Rodgers, also on opposite ends of the political spectrum, got engaged a year ago. A source telling people early on they decided to agree to disagree about things and not debate them. Our expert says that could work. We're going to protect each other's beliefs, even though we understand that we uh, think different things. But I never recommend not talking about something in a relationship. This is such a difference that they can't sit with that they will avoid it until it eventually explodes. As for RFK Jr., the activist issuing a statement. I apologize for my reference to Anne Frank, especially to families that suffered the Holocaust horrors. Cheryl Hines liking that tweet, adding, while we love each other, we differ on many current issues. Patricia says to look at the issues not as political, but as your own life values. What can you compromise on? What can't you? And if you need help, there's always couples therapy, which she says has been especially popular in this political and social climate. And you should go before you need to go. <laughs> um, I mean, it also, politics sometimes isn't important to a lot of people. And so if it's something that is very low on the scale for you, then maybe you can overlook a lot of things. But even when you're on the same uh -huh. political side, you can have differences. And these days, people want all those answers right up front at that the first date. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.